We have no bloopers. Hey! <laughs> get your butt off me! <laughs> came and talked to us about the problems associated with hydroelectricity. What's your group's solution to the problem? Uh, we want to try and get the fish around the turbine and implement, implement a new turbine to eliminate the fish killing factor of the branches and put a cage around it. Are there any other solutions out there that other people have created? Yeah, actually there's one in Soda Springs, Nevada. What they did is they built a $60 million uh, fish ladder, which is kind of like a big slide for fish to jump up. But that's really not feasible for a lot of today's dams because nobody has $60 million to spend on fish. It's also a test to show that it's actually not that effective uh, compared to other theoretical uh, solutions. So why is your solution important for you? It's cheaper than all the other solutions. And um, it keeps everything else, it keeps the energy output, and it keeps the flood control while still allowing the fish to clearly go through, which is what everybody wants. And it's cost effective. In this project, we're trying to uh, show how a dam can uh, produce the same amount of power as it is now while protecting the fish. And to do this, we have materials like these um, Salmo Swedish which are not, extinct, are not endangered yet, but they could be very shortly. Next we have clear PVC pipe that is vinyl that we will be using to show the Swedish fish swimming around. Next we have two T's that are three quarters of an inch and uh, four elbows that are 90 degrees and together we can show how fish can bypass the turbine by putting a screen there to show that water can go through and fish cannot. We also have a five foot length of non-clear PVC pipe. And to bind them all together, we have some PVC cement that will be put on the PVC to keep it together. And then here, we have a faucet to simulate the flow of a river, also known as the Corvo River. So you want to do the uh, If you think it's film worthy, you put it on the inside of that, yeah. and then on the outside of this. Yeah, that, that doesn't matter. Okay. Just the two that are on the same have to be. So we're gonna do this quickly. Interesting. How's that work? Okay. Put it on. Put it on, and then twist it as you put it in. And just jam it together. So this is the intake. Yep. This is the intake. This is the outtake. Mind Excellent. Okay. Give you those two pieces. Hold it on this side. She's gonna, she's gonna put glue in that, and then you're gonna pop her in like that. Glue okay. inside that, outside this. Oh, wipe, wipe, wipe them off on the side. That's it. Try taking it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. In quick and twist. Just up. Yep. Good job. Okay. 
Now the other side. That one and this one. Oh. And you're gonna have to get this angle on that one. Hey, wait. I'm gonna get Doesn't this back the, to Sam. The thing have to be going the same way as the T. No. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I understand now. Good question, though. <laughs> Otherwise, you have to find a PVC salt. <laughs> Replicate the angle quickly before it dries. All right, now the other piece. <clears throat> These guys. To those guys. Awesome. Want to do it? I'll hold it. Yeah. So what we want Mariana, to do, we want to do you want to film for a little bit? Oh, yeah. Okay. I can. So okay. Caleb's gonna do this one. Caleb's gonna do it. Right. Caleb's doing this one. So what happens here is we're gonna glue one end first in, glue that end in there, then we worry about that one. So I'm just gonna apply it like right here. Okay, yes, so this is the outtake. That's the intake. Great song. So one in this one, right? It, it doesn't matter. I mean, we just have to make sure that we have the angles right. So I've got the grate over there. So I'm just putting it on the, the grate over there. I'm not, I'm not putting it in there. We're gonna put. You're gonna put glue on the. It will end up okay, so, like this. So this is the container. So this one gets it on the inside. That one gets it on the outside. All right. Now this is where you need to double check to make sure that the screens are on okay. the same side. Okay. So the screen this side right here. is on this side, the screen has to be on that side. Yep, so like that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hold. You gotta do these both at the same time, otherwise it's gonna be a pain. Yeah. Okay. And I love Caleb's Jam. fingernails. Thank you. Me yeah. too. Yep. Looks awesome. Alright, and show that off to the camera. We have This finished. is our product, and if you look in the top there, you can see that the grate is on our, your right hand side, and on this, also on the same side. So the fish, in theory, should come in from up here. It should not be able to go this way because of that grate. It should come here. You'll see it flow down here, and then it will come back over here and come out the other side of the dam. And this would go on the penstock, right? This simulates the penstock. It is the penstock. It's the penstock simulator. Singular. So Austin should describe this for someone who knows what's going on. The side of the cage is to simulate the turbine with the cage around it showing that fish cannot get in, but water can. And then this, the other side around, is showing that fish can get around it. And that's how we plan to solve the fish problem. Do you want to have a pipe on the outtake here? Yeah. So let's get another piece of pipe. Okay. Is there a, another screen on the other, on the same side? Yeah. yeah, there are two screens. If you want to look, if you want to see it. How big do we want? We have a lot of screens. Well, we want to be able to like have a good like, bucket or something like maybe. Right here. I don't need a line. I don't know. Yeah. 
looks gorgeous. Mm. Once they get done, you gotta get a picture of this. Okay, Do we want one for the top or? No, we need the funnel. You need the funnel for the top. This is pretty rigid now. Yeah. Uh, glue so here. There's like a call. Who wants to glue? <laughs> I'll do it. Right. Oh, hold. Right. So inside white, outside clear. Do you hear recording in the stop? Yeah. All right. So to test our theory, we used a funnel and some duct tape. We also used paper towels to clean the PVC pipes. And we also used rocks to bend the... Yeah. And we also used a Sharpie to jam it inside. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> and we also used PVC cement to glue these pipes together. And then we also used saw to cut the PVC pipe and safety glasses. So you don't get hurt. <laughs> and Cheerios. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this hose, push water through the funnel, and water will go through both sides of the PVC piping and out this exterior funnel. <laughs> and we come out, we go into the sink, yep. and we are simulating the safe fish travel through the non-turbine side. And then we'll come back out here, nice and safe. Start it up. Okay, and here going the fish, aka Cheerios. There you go. In here, there, out there. Notice how none are going in this pipe. In there, out there. It allows fish to go through the dam without dying. Well, it was difficult to find objects that would simulate fish while not being sticky. Our issue is we tried Swedish fish, which resembled a fish, but they got stuck inside of the prototype. So then we went with a grain cereal to simulate fish. And it worked very nicely. Creating a no. circular grate out of a square grate. Josh found a rock and he started bending our mesh screen so it would fit inside of the PVC pipe, which is what we needed. We need to make sure to test the fish light because we have run out of time and have not been able to test it. We'd like to have a helix model and we'd like to use actual fish. Alright, so the best possible outcome would be to remove a dam for the ecosystem. But that's not very feasible for a lot of dams out there because they produce a lot of energy. So this addresses the fish spawning problem while it does not address the sediment problem. And sediment uh, is built up over time behind the dam. So downstream you're really not getting any of the sediment which helps out biotic life. And further research would be would be helpful to try to get that sediment over the dam as well as the fish going through it upstream. It's way cheaper, but the thing with the fish ladder is 
while they do get some fish around, they don't get all the fish around. And as we have seen from several photos, um, even having a fish adder, fish still end up dead next to the dam. Yes, they have, but it only works when the turbidity of the water is low. We had no bloopers. Are you going to ask the question? No. <laughs> Wait, what? How is she supposed to know what to say? Yeah. Why was this project important to you? Um, because too many people were doing the salamander jab, so we got stuck with this one. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> oh my god. It mattered to me because I like fishing, so I don't like dams to kill the fish that I want to catch. It is important to me because my community depends on the fish population. This project is important to me because there are dams all across the world and being able to save fish throughout each and every one of those dams is important to sustaining the life on Earth. I think that it could just help everyone. And also because I like to go to the dam and play. The project is important to me as a manor because it protects our environment. Without it, our fish populations would be way smaller than they are now. I wanted to do this because instead of saving a few salamanders, we are saving thousands and millions of fish.